G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on. So it is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements or check out my playlist. See if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be you, but it could be someone else, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you so much. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed blue in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, Capricorn, let's go. Message for Capricorn to start with. Ooh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Clear out that old energy of any past relationships. Clear it out. Let go of control issues. Let things unfold naturally. Let this situation unfold naturally. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So if you've met someone new, release that old energy. Let go, let, let's just flow and enjoy the time they spend together. Ooh, but someone's wearing a false self mask here. Let's go one more and see what it is. Attraction, ah. You pretending that you're not attracted to someone. Or is someone pretending they're not attracted to you? Oh, the deception is the attraction. Hmm, someone's pretending they're not attracted to you. Or oh, you're pretending you're not attracted to someone. But you are, aren't you? <laughs> Sprung bad. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Well, maybe you need to have a little conversation with them. See how they feel. Tell them that you like them. Tell them that, you know, you might have to take that chance. Put, take down that mask, Capricorn. Maybe let your friends help you too. Alright. The love energy coming towards Capricorn. Give me three cards, please. Ooh. Okay. Love energy coming towards Capricorn. I know I repeat myself a lot, but <laughs> it's just so you don't have to listen to silence and the cards. Oh, there we go. We got them. So they've got deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. Oh, do they know you're wearing a false mask or are they hiding their emotions too? They're hiding something too. Oh, you're both deceiving each other here. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So they're going to decide something very soon. We'll find out what that is. In chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. They feel the chemistry between you two. It's at the bottom for them. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you're definitely going to be spending some time together and you both need to just enjoy that. Um, their belief systems when it comes to love might be a little bit different to yours or they're worried that you, maybe you don't f see relationships the same way. They're trying to get themselves stable here. Something to do with their stability, I'm hearing, rather than, rather than finances. Like, yeah. They're wanting a commitment here, a stable commitment. They believe in stable commitments. But they are going to try and just enjoy this holiday time together with you. But yeah, they're looking for a stable commitment. Perhaps that's what they're hiding. Wow. We can look at the split. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. That's your energy, Capricorn. Stability. And the Unknown card. <laughs> so, hmm, is there love and stability here? It's unknown between you two at the moment. I think you're both a bit unsure. You're both looking for love and stability, but both feeling a bit un unknown. <laughs> That's a deception. All right, message for Capricorn is justice. 
Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, wow, and the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. So you're trying to stay balanced here and speak your truth. You you really are, but there's indecision here. You're a bit closed off. Don't want to make a choice. You're weighing up your options here. Undecided about whether to communicate with a bit of passion to this person. You're really trying to stay balanced, though. I'm in an errand about making a passionate message to this person, saying something. Because <laughs> you just don't know. <sighs> wow, Capricorn. All right, well, Seven of Pentacles, yeah, flipped up. So you're reviewing what you've vested in in the past, and you're also waiting to see what comes of this. Yeah, Death card, what this transforms into. Mm, what's that? Yeah, but you're still juggling and undecided about this person. Trying to stay balanced, but yeah, you just don't know, do you? You just don't know. That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah, you're worried about betrayal with the Five of Swords, or that you may sabotage it yourself. So, all right, well, let's find out about them. Tell me about deception for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. What are they hiding? Ooh. We've got all the moon and the nine of swords. I'm getting fears and can't sleep at night. Getting fears. It's nothing. Secretly they think about you all night. They're hiding the fact that all they do is think they can't sleep at night thinking about you keeping that a secret or they're just really afraid of what this is gonna what's you're gonna reject them maybe. Can't sleep at night thinking about you though. They're keeping that a secret. That's what they're not telling you, that's what they're hiding. Seven of Cups because the confusion they're confused. Is this just an illusion? Because it's confusion and illusion. It's also options. But do you have other options? They don't know. Maybe they think you're interested in someone else. Maybe they think it's all an illusion. Maybe they feel like it's it's just too confusing at the moment. They don't know what's going on because the unknown card is back again. This is an extra card in this deck. But it's it's just unknown. There's too much I don't know. The moon, like the moon card, it's hidden in the shadows. Knight of Wands, fire energy, the fool, and the Queen of Cups, water energy. Yeah, they don't know. Are you coming in just to play with them, with just passion? Are they acting like a fool or are you going to take that leap of faith and can they show you this beautiful love they have for you? Wow. Hmm. So they're interested. I'm feeling that they're interested. Oops. Or are they hiding the fact that this is, the deception is that they've got a lot of secrets. They are, you know, it's, something's doing, they're going to do your head in and cause confusion. Well, it's a bit early in the reading <laughs> to find that out. Oh, I've got the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe they want things to turn in their favour. Well, we'll keep going and find out. Tell me about very soon for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. The world. Very soon, the world. Well, they're going to close out a cycle here so they can start a new one. Upgrade, I'm hearing. Not upgrade from you to someone else or anything like that, but within themselves. Closing out old cycles to start a whole new journey. We saw the fool there, and now we've got the world. So very soon they're going to close, want to close out the old cycles clearly decide what they want. The magician and manifest it in. Man 
manifest in exactly what they want. But they've got to close out some old cycles first. Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, we've got two eights here, and the Hermit. So very soon they're going to cut out things that don't serve them, walk away from what doesn't satisfy them, doesn't emotionally fulfill them, and they're going to put that work into themselves. Hmm. Put work into something that they've been thinking about a lot. What they've found out from going within, doing that self-work, that's what they're going to, well, well they're going to do some self-work here. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. Going through oh, is that seven of pentacles again? Yeah, looking at what the yeah, page of cups, um water energy, an offer of love, it's a small offer of love. And they're looking at what they've invested in, they're taking being patient about offering this love. Five of cups, worried about disappointment. Worried they're going to disappoint you. Worried you're going to disappoint them. Mm, reviewing those past disappointments and when they have offered love. Mm, yeah, and being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about chemistry for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. stop okay so they have the fool taking that leap of faith king of wands fire energy and page of cups water energy so they feel that strong and magnetic attraction here it's making them want to take that leap of faith and come towards you Mastering that element of a fire, of passion and action. Going to be very charismatic and be, say, very in control of their passions and actions here. Feeling a lot of passion for you. But maturity, I'm hearing, maturity. They're going to be mature about it, but the innocence of a little message of love... They feel that chemistry, they want to take that leap of faith, come in with that controlled passion and say something to you about how they feel. Queen of Swords, but they're worried the yeah, air energy, they've got to do it correctly. Um, they don't want to come across cold and they may be guarding their heart a little bit here. But... Yeah, because they're controlling their passions. Showing a little bit of love here, but they are a little bit guarded. Even though they feel the chemistry. Because like we said before, they've got a, they're clearing out old stuff here. Hmm. Knowing they have to come correctly. Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability. I mean, this is a single person here, which is different in this deck. But long-term stability is what they want. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy again, and King of Cups, Water Energy. <sighs> so they want this long-term stability, but they're conflicted here about any offers of stability. A small amount of stability. Talking about stability because they're still holding back their emotions. They've got a lot of love to give, but they're holding it back. They've got one foot in and one foot out. Well, they feel the chemistry. They feel it. They feel it, but they're not showing it. They're controlling their emotions and their passions here. A little bit of communication about love and stability, though. Holding it back, most of it here, feeling very conflicted. 
about this long-term stability with you because of most likely because of this deception that you're deceiving each other so hmm so under the decks we've got religious factors and the ten of pentacles so they definitely want marriage and commitment and long-term stability with someone but i think you guys need to take it slow here All right. Message for Capricorn is Show the world the real you Show this person the real you Full moon in Aquarius What do you need to release? Wanting moon or wanting moon um, Release anything that needs to go Expect powerful change New moon eclipse Yeah, once you release stuff, things change um, balance spirituality and practicality, you probably find you're feeling a lot more balanced within and without. Yeah, you'll find a big change. You feel once you release what needs to go, you'll be feeling more internally balanced and everything around you will balance out as well. Just be yourself, Capricorn, just be yourself. You know, if this person doesn't like you for who you are, then they're not meant for you. And that's simple. But make sure you've released what you've got to release. And, um, yeah, show the world the best you, the best you can be. <clears throat> okay, that's your messages. Look, lucky's on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, you know, all right. Love energy coming towards Capricorn. Give me three more cards, please. What else can you tell us about them? It's one. There's two. And if you're wondering why I chop the cards like that, because the one that's the very top one, won't necessarily come out if it's meant to so it goes into the middle and that's why I do that <laughs> anyway just to give every card a chance whoa fruit loops all right they're going back so we only want three and spirit knows I only want three so it's the first one to land all right first ones to land so they have your energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so they're building up to something here. Believe in the impossible, blue moon, which is I'm a possible. So they're believing in something here. Believing in the impossible. And step out of your comfort zone, north node. Wow. So they're going to take a chance here. Take that leap of faith by the looks of it. What's at the bottom? A time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. A new start is coming. Your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. Oh, that's new moon. And end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. This is Capricorn. Um, but yeah, so they seem to be giving, wanting to give to you rather than take anything, which is which is good. So they're in a, in a giving mode for this new start. They want this new start to begin between you two. I think their self-commitment is being tested here or their commitment to anything is being tested here. Can they commit to this new start? Um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. They, they want to come out of this tough cycle of having to hide. I think you do too. You want to come out of this cycle of having to hide how you feel about someone. Most like this person, they want to stop hiding their feelings. You want to stop hiding your feelings. Yeah, they don't, you know, neither of you want to miss an opportunity. You both want to work on this. You want to work on that offer. That's, but I think you're both a bit worried about offering something. <laughs> Two pentacles I just saw under there. And yeah, I think you're both a bit like that. All right, message, what would... Tell a message for Capricorn. God, I can't even speak. Ten of Cups. Wow. Happy ever after. 
That beautiful love. Ten of Pentacles under their deck and Ten of Cups under yours. For you. Five of Pentacles. Oh, the Empress and the Six of Swords. So what's going on here, Capricorn? You're back and forth here. Happily ever after, left out in the cold. Something that's abundant and will grow, but you're just moving on from it. What's going on? Is that the indecision here? Will they walk away or will we grow something together? Will they leave me out in the cold or will this be happily ever? I th don't think you know. This is that unknown that you're both feeling. Because you're both not being your true selves to each other. You're hiding the stuff. Because you've both been hurt before. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. Yeah, because of the past. Because of the past things that have happened to you, to both of you, from other people. Happiness. You're missing out on this happiness. Because you're undecided about how this is going to manifest. And you keep referring back to what happened in the past. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's perfectly normal though, you know. Like, you know, they've got their sword up. They're hiding stuff. How confused they are about what's going on here. Yeah, look. Eight of Swords trapped in your head about this. So are they. Yeah, both tired, feeling like wounded warriors. Alright, tell me about the energy is gaining momentum for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. It's building up, they can't take it much longer. No, nothing yet. Come on, tell me what's gaining momentum here. The two of swords. <laughs> the indecision. Not seeing things, not taking the mask off. To see things clearly here. The indecision, it's gaining momentum. That They're becoming more and more confused and more and more undecided here. <laughs> yeah, the hangman, they totally feel stuck. Try, look, trying to look at it from every single angle, but they're, they're just feeling stuck and more stuck and more stuck and more stuck. Because the Page of Swords, they need air energy, they need more information. Seven of Wands, that's why they're so guarded here. Six of Swords, they want this to move to calmer waters and move away from carrying a burden here with the Ten of Wands. It's gaining momentum, it's becoming more and more of a burden. Hopefully they don't just run away, but they just want this to move forward one way or another. I think they're really frustrated. They want to know. You want to know. They want to know. This indecision, yeah. Well, they could be, yeah, hermit mode. They could be trying to go within to try and find the answers here. Trying to calm themselves, trying to keep themselves balanced, doing some self-work, which we saw that here very soon. They were going to do that. Um, yeah, well, they're going to have to because this is driving them crazy. Yeah. Hopefully they don't work away before you find out, which they could. If neither of you says anything, they could walk away. All right, tell me about believing the impossible or they're worried you're going to work away. Tell me about believing the impossible for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. impossible thing that they believe trying to believe in come on oh, okay wow that's a lot okay the page of swords that they'll get this information the ace of wands that there'll be a passionate new beginning here the devil uh, okay and the eight of pentacles
Okay, so I'm getting that they don't, they're trying not to be tempted by putting in too much work into this because they don't know where this is going to go. They want more information. They believe in the impossible that they'll get this information. They want this truth here. And if it is just passion, well, that could end up just being toxic. But they'll work through that. What? They'll want to work through that. Work through the toxicity here if it is just passion. Hope that, hoping that they can put the work in. Believe in the impossible. Well, finding out the truth. Getting information. And they could be spying as well. Wow, hmm. They want more information from you, that's definite. Um, this passion that they have for you, I think it's intoxicating, it's driving them a bit crazy, as we saw. They just want to start working on this. This passion they feel for you is over uh, unreal. Seven of Wands, yeah. They're having to fight it off. They feel a lot for you, that passion. For sure. They're having to fight it off and stand their ground and defend them. Yeah, because they want, they want this to work out. But they just... That they'll have this amazing passion with you. But they're fighting with themselves about it. And they're getting tired of doing that with the Nine of Wands. They want this stability with the Four of Wands. Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands. They hope that, you know, you don't... They're not lying to themselves with the Seven of Swords waiting around for you. Oh. Yeah, they're hoping this will be balanced with justice, that's for sure. Tell me about step out of your comfort zone for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Ah, duh. Silly me. All right, before we look at that card, let me just come back here because that's your card, isn't it, Capricorn, the devil card? <laughs> I forget that because I don't like to, I don't think it's fair that you get this card. <laughs> It's such a, you know, it's not the greatest card, but that's you. This is, that's what this is. That's why it wasn't making sense. Believe in the impossible. They want to find out more information about this passioning new beginning with you. It's your Capricorn card and putting that work in that things will work out between you two. They want to believe in the impossible, that they'll get this message of truth, that there'll be a passionate beginning here with you and you two will work together. <sighs> They're really fighting that urge. Not, you know, all these people are, you know, all these naysayers are saying, nah, Capricorn's not interested in you, nah, nah, nah. They're fighting that off. They're trying to believe in that this is going to work out between you two. Whew, that's, yeah, that feels better now. All right, so step out of your comfort zone. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is your energy. Um, but they want to step out of their comfort zone and show you some stable sort of some action of some sort, stable action, or bringing you a gift, even showing you stability. Look, this knight is showing that ace of that pentacle there, and knights are all action, so showing that stability. They're going to step out of their comfort zone and show you some stability here. 
Three of Wands, but they're waiting for the right time. Hmm. Well, they might show you the stability and then sit back and wait and see what how you react. So will the ship come in if they show stability? Hmm. Yeah, under the deck, though, is the Seven of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Cups Water Energy. <sighs> I think they feel like they could be lying to themselves. They don't, uh, they don't want to cheat themselves out of this stability with you, so that's why they're going to step out of this comfort zone, because they know they're going to cheat themselves. They'll be lying to them. They've been lying to themselves if they don't do it, that they're going to feel cheated and defeated. They want to pl they're planning to step out of this comfort zone. It's strat you've got to have a strategy if you're cheating, lying, stealing, otherwise you get caught. Um, they want this stability with you. I think they're tired of waiting. They've got this awesome love they want to show you, Queen of Cups. Beautiful love. They're tired of waiting. For this stability. And this love. They don't want to cheat themselves out of this stability and they're tired of having all this love to give and not being able to give it. So I think they're going to step out of their comfort zone because it's probably not normally like them to approach. Um, yeah. And offer some sort of stability. It could be that invitation to that time away, holiday time. Mm. All right. Let's see what they have to say. What you want to say and they have to say. What does Capricorn want to say? Ooh, I don't want to love you, but you do. I'm not over you. Ooh. I'm waiting for an apology, okay. And I look at your pictures a lot. Wow. So you're checking them out online, you're looking at their pictures, waiting for an apology. For that deception, maybe. Maybe you know they were deceptive. You're not over them, but... Mm. <sighs> maybe because of what they've got to apologise for, you don't want to love them until they apologise, because you're not over it. You want them to apologise. And you keep looking at their pictures, so you're not over them. That's definitely sure, for sure. So it's not like they mean nothing. I'm scared I'll get hurt, so I run. Really, Capricorn? Well, you possibly need to work on that. Because, you know, you're hurting yourself by running as well. You're not, you know, it's not, you're not saving yourself from anything because you're stuck in that. In decision mode and stuck with those feelings, what do you do with them? So you've got to rip the band-aid off, mate. <laughs> if you get hurt, fine. You know, you, you'll you get over it, but at least you'll have your answers. I know, it's easier said than done, but that's what you need to do. You're both hiding behind masks here. Well, but you're hiding your emotion, your attraction behind a mask. They could be hiding a lot of deception here. But they're closing out old cycles. Hmm. See, because you're going crazy without this person. It's driving you crazy, not getting the answers. All right, love energy coming towards Capricorn. What would you like to say to Capricorn? At least three cards, please. What do you got to say to Capricorn? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I'll stop. 
There's another one. Okay. They have. Please don't contact me. Ooh. So maybe they'll contact you when they're ready. Hmm. I love your smile. Ooh. So they love to make you smile. They love it when you smile at them. I'm afraid of commitment. Mm, well, that could be a possibility here. Yeah. And I want you next to me. See, they want you. They want you. But maybe they see that you want commitment here. I think they want it too, but... I think they're going to close out the old cycles. I mean, once they do that, maybe this energy will change. They feel that chemistry for you, but they're hiding something here, which I think is a lot to do with fears. That's why it's please don't contact me. Not right now. I think they'll, they're going to step out of their comfort zone and come to you. Because <clears throat> they're undecided about something here. Look, they've got to look at your pictures a lot as well. So they're checking you out. They're not over you either. They're scared they're going to get hurt, so they run. Yeah, that's that fear of commitment. Same as you. See, you're mirror, mirroring each other. And I'm keeping you a secret. That's that secret. The deception that they, they think about you all night. Can't stop thinking about you. They've told no one about it. And I now know what I've lost. They know what they're going to lose if they lose you. And they've hidden their love for you. I don't normally do that one, but <laughs> something made me do it. <laughs> so, mm, so you both need to do a bit of self-work. A little bit. You know, you've got to get over your fear of getting hurt again. Um, it's easier said than done, of course. But look, you're not over this person. You don't want to love them, but you still do. You're both hiding your feelings behind masks. Um, very soon they're going to start doing that self-work, closing out cycles. So, um, yeah, probably wouldn't hurt for you to just do a once-over with yourself and see what's going on there. Because while you're both sitting in that deception energy, you're attracting each other. Now, if they move up, hopefully that'll trigger you to move up to a higher vibration too, if from away from that deception energy. Because you're both scared you're going to get hurt. That's why you're running from each other. That's what you're hiding from each other. And they're flat out keeping you a secret. The moon keeping you a secret. Like, yeah. You, that's what they're hiding. The, the, all they do is think about you. But I think they're going to step out of their comfort zone. And offer you something stable, which could be that time together that you're going to spend. Just enjoy that time together and, yeah, let it go with the flow. All right. Okay, well, that's your reading, Capricorn. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll do another reading in a few days or so. Oh, it's so hot. That's why I'm looking all toasty and veins and... Anyway, <laughs> it's just so hot. Um, yeah, I'll do another reading in a few days and we'll see what's going on then. Uh, keep in mind, too, there's lots of Capricorns out there that watch the readings. So it could be your story. This might not, you know... The last one could have been your story, but maybe not this one. So just keep in mind. All right. Well, all the best. Good luck. Take care. And I'll catch you later.